Okay guys, going to do something a little different this time. Something a little nerdy. Oh, uh, that's all right. I like being nerdy. Uh, what I got, picked up this Tonka truck from a flea market for 15 bucks. Uh, looking online, best I can tell, it's from the late 60s, based off a Dodge pickup. Not in great shape, not in horrible shape. But uh, it's cool, as is, but it could be a lot cooler. You know, especially if it was laying flat on the ground, if it was a short bed, maybe if it had some air ride mounted back there, had tailgate, maybe some vintage graphics on it. So let's make it cooler. Guess the first step, uh, just tearing this thing down. Doesn't have any bolts, nuts, screws. It's all held together uh, with these kind of tabs here. You just slide through a slot, bend over, and that's what holds this whole thing together. So I'm gonna try to get it all apart without breaking anything and we'll get to work on it. Okay, so everything came apart, no problem. And uh, I guess we'll get started on the chassis first. And you can see how these tabs uh, that the axle mounts to, they hang down a lot lower than everything else. So I'm not gonna attempt to take these apart at the wheel. These are gonna break. So I'm just going to slice these axles in half, get them slid out. And then I cut these tabs off level with everything else. That way this thing uh, can lay flat on the ground and then we'll get to work on getting everything mounted back up.
got the bed apart. And my plan here is just kind of mark an inch off the front of uh, both these bed sides. Cut those down. Uh, do the same thing with the bed itself. I'll uh, cut that front bed wall off, take my inch out of here. But then I'm going to cut along uh, both corners and separate the uh, bed floor from the sides. That way I can raise the bed floor and go hide all the stupid looking axles and everything. Uh, won't have any holes in the bed and you can mount all the air ride back there. So we'll get to work on that. So here's what I ended up with on the bed. Uh, it's just all clamped together, but it all went back together real nice. Uh, these are the chunks I cut out. Uh, that's how much deeper the bed used to be. So essentially just body drop the bed and it's all ready to be welded back together. Back bumper, it'll go back on. So should be good there and here's what I came up with as far as mountain wheels uh, the problem these axles uh, weren't gonna be long enough these you can see how them hubs kind of stick out just that little bit was enough to make them rub and they're about a quarter inch too short so a new plan found a little nut and a washer that fit over top of the axle so I am just going to weld that nut to the body wherever it needs to be. And then I slide that nut up, that washer up tight. I'll cut the axle right at the washer, uh, throw a little weld on it to keep the axle from sliding out of that nut. The nut will be welded to the body and no need for the little axle. So it's kind of my plan with that. So we'll get this marked out and see how it works out.
Check it out so far. Uh, nothing finished, just sitting in place. But got that bed shortened up, all welded together. Uh, wheels are mounted. Just gonna get that bed off. And there's how I did those wheels. And they're gonna need a little grease. Uh, just kind of rusty, but they do spin. So there it is. I'm gonna work on finishing up the bed, knocking down all these welds, and I'll get this thing slammed back together and we'll start on the fun stuff. So got it back together with all the factory parts. And now I'm gonna start making a few pieces. Uh, I'm gonna start with tailgate. Then we'll jump to making some little air ride stuff inside the bed and finish this thing up. Okay, so got that welded up. Not perfect, but perfect enough for this truck. And found a couple old junk tools. So figure the handle of this thing be about perfect for an air tank. So I'll cut that away. And old junk C clamp. I think the heads of that handle, I'll cut both sides off. Kind of looks like the head of a compressor. And with the rest of the handle, Make the uh, motors of the compressor, weld it together, throw it in the bed here, and it had something mounted in here apparently. Uh, it was missing, but I'm gonna put the air tank over top of those holes, compressor on each side, cover up those holes, and this thing will be just about done.
Check out those little compressors and air tank. Isn't that cute? But now, I'm going to hit this thing with some of my rust juice, which is just peroxide, uh, vinegar, and some salt mixed together. Uh, just going to hit all the spots that I knocked down to bare metal. And uh, this stuff will rust it back up in no time. And this thing's just about done, but not quite yet. I thought we forgot about you, Sid. We didn't forget about you. But there it is. You know, it's super nerdy, something a little different. But hopefully a couple of you guys enjoyed watching it. And see you next time.